Hello people that didn't know how to do it. Today I probably should have made this video a long, long time ago, but I said I hold off. And I'm going to say this very straight. Obviously there's an election coming up. And we're going to say this to people. This country isn't a mess. It's a mess. This country is a mess. Our health service is in shambles. Uh, amount of people lying in the streets sadly have gone up. It hasn't gone down. It has gone up consistently over the last five years. It's this being the gay government. This being the gay government that I don't even know what country they're one in. I think they're one in Australia or something like that. Because they're more worried about other countries, what other countries are doing, and they're more worried about people dying in the street. And now we see Liam Fagger, and this is the biggest issue I take. I do I really, really want to say this. He used to be a doctor. At least he should have a bit of cop on. My good God, of what's happening in the HSC. And he should have a bit of cop on. And what he's doing, and it's down this one simple thing. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't give a toss. And I say it to his face. He doesn't, I, I challenge him, really. To come, you know, to challenge me to the debate. I challenge him. Um, because I would wear into him and he wouldn't know what to say. Because, you know, people are suffering. In times of crisis, I'm going to say this to people. In times of crisis, throughout our centuries, throughout the foundation of the Irish Free State, you know, for a long, long time, you know, we were subjugated, I suppose you can say, by the British Commonwealth. And, you know, it's a long, long time ago, it was a while ago. But there was always such thing as the fighting Irish and the soldier's nation, I suppose you kind of say that. And I'm saying to people, in times of crisis, in times of despair, in times of hope, unhopeless situations, I suppose we would call it, we have to show, because Ireland has something inside of every person, every side of every Irish person, on the side of the violence, there's some rebellion spirit. And what I mean by that is, you know, there's time, and I'm saying this to people, it's time for us to stand up. People in France have stood up against the corrupt government over there. It's time for Ireland to stand up in the next election and say to the Fine Gael government, we have put up with your shite for too long. Simple as. That's simply what we have to say. And get rid of them. Kick them out. Kick them out of the country. Because, you know, we have, in times of crisis, and I say this to people, and I really want this to go down and to be remembered, this next thing I'm going to say. In times of crisis, we have to hang up our brightest colours. And we have to remember that our grandfathers, our, our fathers, our mothers, you know, we build this country up. Build it from the ground up, I suppose you can say. You know, done whatever they could for their country back years ago. And now we live in 2020. And we're selling our country out to the EU. We're selling our country out to everything. We're, we're literally not caring for ourselves. Literally, we're caring for the EU more or less than we're caring for anybody in Ireland. And I'm saying this to people, we have to stand up. And I'm saying to people, the fighting Irish spirit and the fighting and the soldier spirit... We are a soldier's nation. I'm saying to people, Fina Gay have done a terrible job with this country. It's time for change. I don't, like, I might just say it straight. It would be nice if the Irish Freedom Party or the Irish Nationalist Party would get into government. But um, obviously they wouldn't have a majority and there wouldn't be enough people standing in the former government. Um, but I'm saying to people, any go, I would really, really, and I'm saying this to everybody, I would rather any other government, I would rather any kind of government Apart from Fine Gael. Because we need, we, we don't need, we don't, I don't care who runs the country. If the long as they sort out the housing crisis, the homelessness crisis, you know, get people off the trolleys in the hospitals and put them into the proper beds, which they're paying for with their taxpayer money. I couldn't, as long as people are happy, you know, I wouldn't, they could, they could put labour in in the morning for, I care. As long as people are have, have been happy, you know, and as long as the country's doing well and everybody's, you know, living a good life. I might as well say it straight. I really just, that's all I want. I want just people to be well and to be safe. And if they're sick, you know, obviously the state should help them. And, you know, obviously if they need housing and they have fell in hard times, obviously the state should help them if they're Irish citizens and should not abandon them. Because what we're doing, we might as well be honest with ourselves. We will abandon our homeless people on the street. We are, we are abandoning them. We're, we're, we're literally forgetting about them. 
And there's nothing to... And this is the thing about this country nowadays, and the local authorities and the higher-ups in Dublin. You know, everything's left to the last moment before anything is done. Like, literally, it would take about 16 or, 16 or 17 people to die in the street. In any street in Ireland. For, you know, the government to say, you know, there's a homelessness crisis. That's literally, unless there was, you know, it's the last second they do something. You know, and it's and it's a it's a pollen to take. You know, years ago, you know, people went out, people stood up, and a great example, the best example I could ever give, and the best example that ever comes to anybody's mind, of people standing up against like hopeless odds. It's the people of nineteen sixteen, it's the heroes of nineteen sixteen, who went out hopelessly outnumbered, hopelessly outgunned. Went out, went out. And declared the Irish Republic. Hopelessly outgunned, hopelessly outnumbered. The whole empire against them. Took on the empire. They, sadly, they failed. But their legacy lived on. What they done, you know, set the rears forward for where we are today. And I'm saying to people, we can't, and I'm saying this as people, we have to look back at these brave heroes who give their life for this country and give their, li give their life for us to have a better future. And this future we have now is not much for living for. People lying in the street, people dying in the street, people lying outside the GPO. I'm, do I have a point? Because, you know, people, this country was soaked in blood for it to be made, to be, for it to be softened. For it to be Ireland. And we should never forget, you know, what people before us have sacrificed to get us to here. And what I'm saying is the government should understand the two. Because I'm sure Powell Pierce and James Connolly and Tom Clark are torn in their graves now, looking at 3,000 children lying in the streets. I'm sure the I'm sure they are torn in the graves. God forgive me for saying it, saying it, but I'm sure to God they are torn in the graves. I'm sure to God they are, because seeing that suffering, and let's well, let's be honest, the only reason why the 1916 heroes surrendered was because there was too many civilians being killed. We more or less that's more or less what is happening now. We more or less put people out to starve to death. Do I make my point? I hope I really, really do. Because I've wanted to say this for so long, but there's a lot to be done. And, you know, there's time for change. And I really have to say to people, and I'm not trying to get people to vote to different parties. I hope people understand, you know, it would be nice for the National Party or Irish Freedom Party to get in, but we need, we need some sort of government that can do something and not make people suffer. Like, that's all I really want. I just want people to stop suffering. Because there's enough suffering for the last, you know, decade in Ireland without having more suffering on people. In a new decade. Anyway, thank you for watching.